Hello viewers, in this video we will be seeing how to capture the session id. Now this is the concept of capturing the session id while uh, you will be using many applications on the website like, uh, like a banking application for internet banking. Now you will usually see a window in, the, in that you will be seeing that the session will be expired in 5 seconds or 3 seconds or it may be given for 5 minutes or 3 minutes. So how this session id actually works how the capturing of session id actually works so this is the actually a concept so this in this we are basically giving the request and we are getting the response for some uh, particular actions let us consider the example of gmail now everybody would have used gmail accessing the mail so in that you would be seeing a home page like you will be entering your username as well as password so in this home page this would be the url that you would be giving so that is a request to your browser you will be giving a url and in that response you will be getting that web page so this is the web page that you are getting means the home page so for that particular url when you are entering to that browser you will be getting that web page in the response now in this action there will be no session id that would be generated session id would be generated in the post login session now in post login session the request request is that you would be entering your password as well as the username the username as well as the password now this user would be entering into the respective fields as a request for the server to authenticate whether you are the legitimate user or not so in that response you will be redirected to the gmail site that is the mail.google.com so in this response you will be getting one session id that i am writing it here as the sid sid stands for the session id now after this you have to check the mail for checking the mail you have to give a particular request suppose you have many uh, emails in your tabs like forums or social media so you have to click one particular tab and get one particular email message so for that you will be requesting to the server so for that uh, along with this request you will be providing that is the request plus session id now a session id plus request is used for checking the mail in this now after this you would be getting another session id so you will be getting one response in the session id also next is you would be logging out for logging out also you would be having some session id request plus session id and ultimately you would log out from your gmail site now here also a session id would be generated and the server will be identifying that which user is access, accessing that site that is determined by this SID that is session ID now there would be many users who would be concurrently accessing the gmail website so how will the server come to know that this particular user is only accessing his particular mail so it should not be such a case that one user is accessing his mail and is seeing some uh, other person's website so that should not be there so for that you should have the session ID now where you will actually capture the session ID now there are many session IDs generated there are three session IDs generated in this scenario so for that if you capture this session ID here for example if you are capturing the session ID here then this would be unrealistic because a session ID is already generated uh, one action above it so if you are capturing the session ID here then the request plus this session ID this session ID would be a garbage value or it would be a blank value and thus it would result to an error so actually what you are giving the check mail is that a request plus session id that is you will get a client error that is 404 error or something like that not found error in this so in this case you will be getting this kind of error so to avoid that you always have to capture a session id that is a request above it that is if this is a request then you have to capture the session id in the response of this post login 
So actually you would be capturing the session ID here, not here. At least one request above. If this is the case, then you have to capture the session ID here. Since you are giving the request here, you have to capture the session ID here. So this is the concept of how to capture the session ID here. So in this, uh, note that for giving a request, for a request, always capture session ID of one action response above the request means what if you are giving the request here you have to capture the session ID from the response of this if you are giving the request you have to capture the SID of this not this because you would be given a garbage value or a blank value so it would result in some other pages or uh, it would gives you some error so this is the concept of capturing the session ID so hope you found this video helpful if you enjoyed this video please provide a like and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe thanks for watching this video